Presented by Caltech. Peering out into the cosmos, astronomers find billions of galaxies. They can study them and measure their properties, but they cannot fully explain how galaxies form in the first place. For the last decade or so, scientists have debated how galaxies in the making, or proto galaxies, get all the gas they need to form giant disks and produce stars. It's clear that the gas comes from the intergalactic medium, a cosmic web of dark matter and gas that stretches between galaxies. But scientists have proposed two different models to account for what happens from there. So in the standard model of galaxy formation, the gas that is going to go into a galaxy ultimately comes from the intergalactic medium, but goes through a sort of holding stage where it's in this diffuse halo around the galaxy and then falls from that halo onto the galaxy. In the cold flow model, the gas that is going to end up in a galaxy also originally begins its life in the intergalactic medium, but is able to funnel in these cold flows or streams straight through from the intergalactic medium or cosmic web directly onto the galaxy without any holding or uh, stalling in between. Now, using an instrument called the Cosmic Web Imager, Caltech astrophysicist Chris Martin and his colleagues have found the strongest evidence yet in support of the cold flow model. Deployed on the Hale Telescope at Palomar Observatory, the Caltech built imager can actually see the individual filaments of the cosmic web. The researchers used the imager to observe a system 10 billion light years away that is home to two quasars. There, Martin and his team discovered a giant swirling disk of gas, a galaxy in the making, being fed cool gas by a filament of the cosmic web. So using the cosmic web imager, we can actually make a map of the velocity of this protogalactic structure. We can see that there's a filament with a constant velocity connected to a rotating disk. And we can see that it's rotating because we see that on one side it's moving away from us, and on the other side it's moving toward us. And this is exactly what is predicted by the cold flow model. I'd say the observations are a smoking gun for these models, and this is what the community has been waiting for for 15 years. This is the strongest evidence to date that the cold flow model is an accurate picture of how galaxies form. And for the first time, we have a handle on the fundamental physical processes that form the most basic constituent of the universe, the galaxies, the billions of galaxies we see everywhere we look. To learn more about this and other groundbreaking research from Caltech, visit caltech.edu.